guys, what's going on? This is uh, Maddie here, and I have uh, Kiki with me here. Hi. Uh, today we're going to bring you Super Mario All-Stars, and we're going to start with the first game of uh, doing a Let's Play both of us playing. Old School Mario. Yeah. <laughs> we're just going to go in order, see if we can beat all of them. So we'll start with the first one, and then go to the second one, and then the third one, and then Lost Levels. Although I guess technically lost levels would be like before three, but we're just gonna go in order how they have it listed. Alrighty, so I'm playing as Mario and she is playing as Luigi. What's with the monkey jump? So he does. Yeah, but you like duck jumped. Yep. <laughs> it's like a freaking eight. Ah, shit. Just laying on the mushrooms. Something. Star. <laughs> run through the level, run through the level, run through the level. Oh, fail. I know. I feel a slight delay. Possibly. Hopefully that won't fuck us up too much. The Luigi is up now. It took me a second to get used to the controls again. You know how long it's been since I've played this freaking game? Uh. Since you played the original Mario Brothers? Yes. Try like 20 years. Holy shit! <laughs> Gotta watch out for them turtles. And the Goombas. Ninja Turtles? I like Ninja Turtles. I wish they were Ninja Turtles. Then they'd like actually fight back. I love the uh, the awesome backdrops they added to this version of the game, which the original I don't believe it did have. I mean, it, it did, but not as detailed as it is. In this Whoop! Game. Look at that! And I'm gonna get some fireworks. Oh yeah. Yup yup. What's the ruling on getting fireworks again? Um, um, it has to do with the time. The time if it's three, six, or nine, it gives you fireworks. Oh, okay. See, it's been so long. I, I knew there was a trick to it, but I couldn't remember what it was. Yep, the ending time in seconds has to end with a three, six, or nine. Chased down by friggin' turtle shells? Yep. Who do you think's gonna be the first to die? Probably me. Really? Probably. I don't know, because I, I pretty much suck at video games. By the way, there is no warping. No warping allowed. Not in our playthrough, no warping. No, no warping. Does that mean we can't get flutes in Mario Brothers 3 as nope. well? No, no flutes. flutes. Allowed. No flutes. What do they have in Mario Brothers 2? I don't remember. Is it, is it a flute? No, I... Or is it something else? Honestly, I don't or, know. I think it might be just a pipe. Honestly, I don't I remember. don't <laughs> really remember. Well, I personally suck ass at Mario Brothers 2. I could never fucking play that game. My life depended on it. That one I might actually beat you on. I played the shit out of Mario Brothers 2. Honestly, I kind of skipped over it. I mean, I played a little bit of it, but I was never any good at it. Like, okay, on to Mario Brothers 3 now. <laughs> I 
played the original Mario Brothers and Mario Brothers 3 way more than I did 2. Now, 3 is awesome. I love 3. Like sad how you just rush through everything and I'm just sitting here taking a sweet yeah. time. Sad thing is, is that I'm actually better at the Japanese version of Mario Brothers 2 than the American, which makes all kinds of fucking sense. That being, uh, Lost Levels. Oh, I gotcha. I thought that was Mario 4. Uh oh. -uh. It's what Japan got. Oh, shit. Is basically I like forgot a like two of seconds it. too late that uh, we wasn't on the board. Basically, um, they really see Mario Brothers 2 over there in Japan. It was pretty much like the first game, but it was like way harder. And then oh, no fireworks. This time. They figured it would be way too hard for the American audience, so then they brought it over their own. Oh, I see. Mario they Brothers think too. we're a bunch of pussies, do they? Yeah. Do you know how that works? It's like, you guys suck as Suit Mario Brothers, so we have to give you a, a different one instead. They handicapped us. Died. I did. Got too distracted. I, I was too busy worried about my fat kid candy. structure of you know, pretty much every common level that you're gonna see in the remainder of the game. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> or you could die. <laughs> I'm very uncoordinated now. Look at that, you made me lose my mojo. Stealing my fat kid candy. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Going up the beanstalk. I don't remember that big ass face being there. It, it, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. That's that's only in the Super All Mario All Stars, Stars version. Yeah. You missed a coin. I know. Missed you coins. missed two of them. You fail epically. Ah. <laughs> What's with the ape jumps? They're kind of creepy. I'm not even gonna lie. The what? The ape jumps. You know where you duck and you jump at the same time? You look like a freaking ape. Freaking donkey. Come on, get up there. You yeah, fail I get the, the flags. There's a delay. Every time I get to try to do a late jump, it just falls. Oh, it looks like the ones give you give you one firework also. So it's always odd numbers then? It's odd numbers except for seven. Seven doesn't... I'm just gonna quit right now. <laughs> <laughs> seven <Wow>. doesn't... Wow. <laughs> I can't talk and play at the same time. <laughs> Maybe you should focus on playing. Well, that's fine. While, while I'm playing, you can talk to them then. So 
did you, uh, did you have an NES growing up? I did. We, we had two of them. Well then. And we, had, we had two NES systems. We had a Super Nintendo. And we had a Sega. So you had a Genesis? A Genesis, yes. Yeah. Remember how old you were when you had a uh, Nintendo? <laughs> or roughly? Um, I I was I was in elementary school. Okay. Do you remember some of the games that you liked playing on it? I played Mario all the time. <laughs> did you play anything else? <laughs> I I did play. A gold cartridge Zelda. I couldn't tell you which one it was, though. See, you got me talking. Again. <laughs> <laughs> is 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 this is this what you're you're gonna do all night? You're, you're gonna I'm just sit trying here to make, make conversation. Yeah, you're gonna make me talk all night, so I'll lose. I told you I'm I'm horrible at video games. I haven't played since God since middle school. There it goes. You see how I just placed it at low? I did. <laughs> Only part you kind of have to stop. I'm totally work. hating you right now. There's the the small triple jump. You kind of have What's to. What's sad is that. I used to kick ass at this game. I I could even do the infinite lives thing. I could never do that. My mom taught me how to do it when I was in like third grade. So I did it all the time. I mean, really, the only game that—that that was the best way for me to impress my friends. So I did it all the time. Bring over my friends, be like, "Dude, look at this!" <laughs> Holy oh. shit! <laughs> Y'all seen that, right? <laughs> Almost failed my ass off. We had a. Uh, what I can remember was, I do believe the NES was my first system. Actually, I had the Atari before that. See, I did play the Atari, but I don't believe I actually owned one. Like, I played it at my cousin's house. He had a crap ton of games for it. No, that was that was the first system that I played, and me and my cousin would stay up until like midnight playing Pole Position. That was our favorite oh, yeah. game. <laughs> it's our absolute favorite game on there. Play pool position and some pong. One of them space shooters. Like asteroids. Yeah, like asteroids. Did Super you ever play breakout. That chicken, run, that chicken run game. No, no, I haven't. It's like fuck. It's like Frogger, but like you have a oh, fucking chicken Frogger. that cro that crosses the road. <laughs> it's basically a rip off of Frogger. <laughs> Frogger was awesome. Look, we're both in a castle. Only mine's like four levels behind yours. Yeah, you'll catch up. I know I will. Oh, not at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not at this rate. Don't mock me. I'll dump my soda on you. Yeah, be ultra careful on these castle levels. Did you ever notice how all the fuck? What the oh, fuck? Oh, that was a glitch. And a half. <laughs> Did you ever notice how all of these castles are the exact same? Yeah, they're. They just they're have the the little fire spinny balls in different places. Really? Yeah, they have the exact same layout. Yeah, that was ultra luck. That should have hit me. There's no way it, 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 it didn't. Now you got twins. Yep. That's power of shrooms. Multiplying, dude. Want some 90s music now? Yeah. 
See, that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do that dash jump. Alright. Oh, look at that. I completely died out. Yep. But it's okay, because it'll just start you from the same world you was on. Which was World 1. So do I have to start from World 1 Level 1? I believe so. That's I know in Lost Levels, they, they do give you at least the courtesy of continuing from the same level. See, you, you <laughs> always ridiculous. do this shit. You you glitch out in the most god awful way and skid by by the skin of your teeth. Wow, I can't reach it. Like I don't know how you do it half the time. Run quickly! <laughs> Bounce. Get up there. Fuck! <laughs> Went for that too quick. You died. Oh, I do. I have to start all mm -hmm. over again. This is this. I do not miss. Well, I, see, I do not playing? miss. On the NES version, you'd have to start all the way from the original level. I know. Like if you was on World Three. That that's what I'm saying. I don't died, miss it. I don't miss it. You'll start back from World One. But at least in this, if you die on World Three, you can continue back from the beginning of World Three. They added in that save feature. They changed the music up. It's kind of creepy now. Much duck hunt? I did. I did played it, duck hunt a lot. With it? I played duck hunt a lot. Of course, always tried shooting that fucking dog that would laugh at you. Apparently, they have a game now that you can actually shoot, shoot that the dog. dog. <laughs> you can actually shoot that dog. I believe it. They do. Of course, I'm, I'm not sure how the, the new gun works. I think it, it works the same as like a, a PlayStation motion control. I know the old guns do not work on the new TVs though. I no. tried it. They don't work. Even like the PlayStation 1 and the Saturn gun cons, you can't really play it with them on a, on a LCD or a flat screen. It has to be a big tube screen. Okay, out of out of all the systems that you've ever owned, what's your favorite? Oh god. I don't even know. Favorite system that you owned. I don't know, it's it's I would buy honestly say PS1. Honestly, there's so many fucking good games on that system. Like it's ridiculous. Like you have the Crash Bandicoot series, which is awesome. Metal Gear Solid, Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9. All those games are awesome. Sui Coden series. <laughs> they had a shit ton of RPGs. All like pretty much all of them were good for the most part. Legend of Dragon. I love that game. <gasps> oh, Ooh, I thought I was dead. You know, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, you know, arguably like one of the best Castlevania games. And then next to Super Castlevania. Yes, but what? if you remember, you can you can play PlayStation One games on the PS2. Yeah. So that kind of gives but the PS2 just, a bump up. I was just going up. by. If you had to pick one platform. 
I don't know that I could pick one platform. I, th I think out of, like, the more vintage systems, it would definitely be the Super. Super had a lot of good games. But see, personally, I didn't really get a chance to really play much Super because that... my sister kind of hogged it. Like, I played... Me and my cousin some, were the hogs. Some Super games. <laughs> Like, I did get a chance to play, like, Super Mario RPG and Super Mario World. That, um, Super Mario RPG was one that I never actually got to play. Such a good game. It really is. Like, you'll never see another RPG like it. I mean, there's Paper Mario and stuff, but they, just, they don't really stack up. Well, then, to what, then what maybe we'll have to RPG play that one night, because I've, I've never played it. Yeah, like, pretty much, it was a, um... Like a double work thing between Nintendo and Squaresoft. Both of those companies actually made that game. Oh, well, that's pretty know. cool. Yeah, they worked together to make that game. Which is probably part of the reason why you'll never see another one. Just because what are the odds of them two working together again on a game? <laughs> Ramp. That's why you have yet to see a Super Mario RPG made, or RPG 2. You know what? I seriously thought I was going to right there. But who knows? Stranger things have happened, right? I mean, right? they brought out Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games. <laughs> you know, who does that? A company like Sega and Nintendo that fought for years. And had the whole console wars with the Sega Genesis, and Nintendo, Super Nintendo. And Genesis does what Nintendo don't. <laughs> you, did, did you notice I'm getting better at this talking and playing at the same time? Yeah. Just made it through all three levels. First without try. Without trying. I think I might actually catch up if you can't get past these damn turtles. I think I, I, thought I did get past it. Oh, did you? Yeah. I wasn't paying a bit of attention then. See, every time, every time I try to do an edge jump, it just slips right off. It might be my timing, I don't know. And now, just because I said that I was getting better, I'm gonna it's die. gonna start fucking you up. I'm gonna die. I don't know, but before PS1, I did play Nintendo, but I honestly don't remember playing that many games for it. Really? Yeah. Like, just growing up. I, don't, I remember playing the Mario games. Pretty damn sure I played the Turtle games. Whoop! Look at that shit! I'm pretty sure I played Contra at some point. I love Contra. I mean, there's a lot of games I missed out on. Like, what was that one you like? Adventure Island? Adventure Island rocks. Like, I didn't grow up playing that. I missed out on Adventure Island. We didn't actually own Adventure Island. My uncle owned it, and he would come over all the time. And he'd bring his system and everything. And we'd just sit there and play. That sounds like fun. But, you know, one I had of those cool uncles that were like teenage. Uh huh. Yeah, so he'd come over and play all his teenage games and shit. Of course, back then they weren't really worried about, you know, kids' games versus teenage games versus adult games. What does that exactly mean, teenage games? Like, what what are they, what are they? I don't know, like 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 games? more more challenging games, I like guess. Like games that are harder, or just games that are like more mature. Both. <laughs> like like technically, like Zelda would be like a teenage game. 
like something that you really wouldn't get into as a child. But I was able to because I like had ghosts and goblins, which my is like cousins and ridiculously shit. hard. Right? But I had my cousins and shit, so we played, you know, some of the tougher, more mature games. Although I did, I did play like, um, oh god, what is it? Uh, like those Disney games, like Aladdin and oh, and no, Lion King that. and shit like that. I mean, we played, we played a lot of those. Disney had a lot of games. A lot of good they games did. That came out at that time. Capcom licensed the majority of them, but I do believe other companies made them as well. I mean, it's like on the Genesis, Aladdin had two separate ports that were completely different games one on Genesis and one on Super Nintendo. They were completely made by different companies and everything. I didn't know. was made by uh, Super was Capcom. I think the one on Genesis was either like Virgin, like either Vir Virgin or like Viacom or some company that starts with a V. It was some weird company. But yeah, the one that made it on Genesis. <laughs> okay, it's the third world castles that are different. They like threes. Did you notice that? Okay, like, like the fireworks and stuff for no apparent reason go off on on 3, 6, and 9. And then every third castle has this layout, whereas all the other ones are the same. Hmm. They like threes. Wonder if there's any type of significance in that. Squeeze. And fuck these fish. That's spit power. It's funny how fireballs can last underwater. Like I guess it did. Did you personally own the Nintendo, or was it like a family? No, it, yeah. it was it was a family thing. Okay, so like, was you ever allowed to rent out Nintendo games or? Anything? You ever rented Nintendo games back in the day, like from like shops like Blockbuster? Or... Oh yeah. Was there any games that stuck out like in your mind, like games that you rented, or like something that appealed to you, like oh I want to play that game? Honestly, I, d I don't really remember because I I know my my mom was really big into actually. The, the Nintendo games. games and stuff like that, so, you know, if, if there was a video game that we liked, she would buy it. <laughs> yeah. And she, she, she played it a lot when we were growing up. And the Nintendo games were pretty She played expensive. it about as much as we did. <laughs> I remember I mean, getting up in the morning and, and she'd be sitting there playing a video game. I mean, like, Mom, my, is it my turn yet? <laughs> me and my cousin rented a lot of games. Like, especially during the Super Nintendo and Genesis and PS1 era. Like, I mean, that's, no, that's PS1. half the reason some of the games we got to play. That, you know, the games that we, we love, like, you know, Gunstar Star Heroes or... PS1 games. My Neighbors or, like, games... But for example, that we would rent. Right. PS1 games, we, we did rent a lot of. Yeah, that, I think that's how I originally got to play the first Resident Evil. Was actually, I, I believe at, when it first came out, we, we actually rented the system itself. Oh, like... Ah, oh, damn it! Rent the system I was doing out. so good, too. Was it expensive to rent the system out? Because I don't believe that. Um, I think it was that. like $20 for a week. Really? Yeah. It was something stupid like that. I guess it'd be really okay to, like, to try it out. To see if you for like... a few times and, until my mom decided she wanted to buy it. 
I mean, it'd be okay for like a trial, but like obviously it's not something you'd want to like. Oh no, I I think yeah. we I think we rented it twice the system we did. Um, we rented it the first time, and then my mom was. Yeah, I lost my mojo again. Mm -hmm. And then my mom uh, decided to have company over and wanted wanted to show her friends and stuff the the system so we rented it again and then everybody liked it so we just all decided to get it now you probably don't, you, you probably don't remember what games rented on that system do you oh god what would have been your mom they run out and buy this system like wow i wonder what games attracted her at that time well my my mom loves final fantasy I know that. I don't think that was the deciding factor because I'm no, pretty sure that wasn't out at the time. When, I, when the system came um, out, when the system, God, what what game I was mean, it? I mean, there are some launch titles here and there. I mean, I'm, I'm sure she probably liked the original Crash Bandicoot. Oh, she loved Crash. She liked Crash and Spyro. Or I don't know if she was into the racing games at the time. I know Ridge Racer was a big thing. No, she time. she she didn't really get into those. Um, she did play Need for, for like Speed. Tekken. Nope. Play Tekken. No Tekken. No Tekken. Tekken was another big one. Um. Twisted Metal was really popular. Nope. Nope. She she was more into the the crash and the platformers and the uh, Spyro. Probably Tumba too. <laughs> oh, she loved that game. Of course, that was. Much it, later. it was it was it was hilarious because um, that that game my mom actually owned. Uh, we got it for for either Mother's Day or her birthday. I'm not entirely sure which. But um, of course, my dad's the one that bought it. But us kids gave it to her. Um, and I I, I remember. For the longest time, she kept a hold of that game, and then she ended up like like she got to working and stuff, and you know stopped playing so much video games. So she decided to sell a lot of them, and um, she she had a couple video games out at a yard sale. And this uh, guy came up um, and asked her if she had any other video games. And so she went in and, you know, sorted through a couple titles or whatever and sold him, like, I don't know, like 20 some games for something like $45. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so that's like maybe $2 a game. And, and Tombo was one of them and then she decided you know a couple weeks later that you know she missed the game so she went to <laughs> buy it down at the little game shop down in the mall and um, found out it was a hundred dollar game ouch <laughs> yeah so she basically got rid of it for like $3. Next to nothing, yeah. And then she got totally ripped. Tried to try to buy it, and it was a hundred dollars. Yep. So she has not seen that game since. See, that's the thing is, it's like impossible to get deals like that anymore because everybody knows what they have thanks right. to the internet and eBay, and prices just keep going higher and higher, and it's it's getting ridiculous. It's sad. Yeah. We have to play play video games on emulators now. Pretty much, because it's way Because nobody expensive. can afford to play yeah. the actual games anymore. And then when you have... I mean, something like this obviously isn't a big deal, but... But then, you like, know, when you have Some of the more in-demand games. A company <laughs> like Nintendo trying to bring out retro stuff like the NES Classic and the SNES Classic, you don't even get a chance to really enjoy it because you have a bunch of scalpers snatching them all up before anybody else gets a chance to and then they raise the prices up ridiculously to the point where no one can can get one it's like impossible right
Well, just like when the the PlayStation Two and stuff came out, they they actually at the stores limited people. I I don't know about everywhere, but I know around where we lived, they limited people to one remember. per customer. Was that, that one? Yeah, yeah. It was it was one. I remember PS2 when I was trying to pre-order one, and they said they were they were going to have to be short on systems. Yeah. Well, what what's funny was the the day that um they said it, was it be came like that out for the entire holiday. The day that it came out, um, we were we were down there and we were supposed to get one for us and we were supposed to get one for um, my aunt or something and we ended up unable to to do that because. They they limited us to getting one, and right. there was they even limited the the amount of people that were allowed in the store, in line to wait for these games, to ten people because they said that they they were only going to get ten of them, and when they came in, they only got six. Yeah. <laughs> they got six of them, and luckily we were the sixth person in line. So we were actually able to walk away with one, <laughs> you know, by some miracle. But yeah, you guys got pretty lucky. But we, there. you know, we got it for for you know our house. But my dad even said that that he was considering putting it online because people were paying you know triple the price. Well, yeah, because at the time you couldn't for the system. Store. Yeah, and people were paying. The same problem that the Wii had, the same problem that the Wii U had. Just like, I, I remember the when the, the PlayStation 3 came out. I mean, people yeah, were putting really them. They, they were selling them online before they even physically had them. Like, talk about ridiculous. <laughs> like, like, they were going on eBay for, you know, a couple hundred dollars and then waiting until the release date and then these people weren't getting them. <laughs> that had been promised them because you know the 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 people weren't able to deliver because they were short yeah i mean there I are some systems that. That here and there that, that did crazy. have you know issues like that i mean there are some systems out there that didn't really have that kind of an issue like i don't remember the ps1 really having that kind of issue it was hard to get. And a PS2 was hard to get at first. And I think it was it was because of the, the backwards man. compatibility. Like, yeah. It, it, that had a lot to do with it. I don't think it would have been as high demand if it hadn't been for that. And then um I don't remember much about the Xbox. Like I don't remember if it had that kind of issue or not. Oh. Like the original Xbox. I was gonna try, but I failed. Did you ever get into that system? <laughs> which? The original Xbox. I didn't ever own it. My neighbor did. Um, I I went over and played with him a few times, but I I never really. I, we we were a PlayStation family. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> uh, PlayStation One. PlayStation yeah, PlayStation two. One, PlayStation Two. We we had those and had no need for Xbox. Yeah. So you guys didn't get into the whole Halo craze like everyone else did. Uh, I I did, but it wasn't until after I moved out. Once I moved out of my parents' house, um, me and a couple of my friends got into it. Um over at my friend's place and and they would have you know monthly tournaments at his yeah, house tournaments were <laughs> for Halo at the time like it was ridiculous like every other freaking week there was a tournament for that game right well we started off in his house you know just doing it you know just us and then we ended up going to a couple local shops that were having them and playing with large groups then. Uh, um, I'm assuming you, you didn't really play Goldeneye? Uh, no. No. See, so that, that's kind of the game that kind of started this whole thing and then like 
once Halo came out, it got even bigger. Because that's when I really, when the whole multiplayer shooting really kicked off. Like, GoldenEye started, it was really popular, like, you had a group of four people play, and they all played Deathmatch, it was, it was fun. But then, it really got popular with Halo, because Halo took the same concept, and did it, and then they released the second game, and put it on Xbox Live, and that's when it really blew up. Right. That's when everybody was playing Halo. Oh my god, do you, do you remember when, when, you know, putting game systems online first became a thing? Do what? Putting game systems online. Like, like, do you remember the stupid converters and shit that you used to oh, get to for, for the play PlayStation online? 2 and shit? Oh, I actually didn't. Oh my god. I don't think I ever actually got the huge one of those. I know I had a few friends that my, my, my mom went out and bought one so that, you know, we could play with our friends and stuff and so what, we what could never we could never figure out how to hook it up. <laughs> I don't I think there were some decent games that you could play online. Remember SOCOM was a really popular title on the PS2. Um, I think maybe Twisted Metal Black might have had it. Right. I don't, I don't remember it honestly. Um, I know there was some sports games I had it. Uh, Final Fantasy XI online was probably pretty popular, I imagine. And, uh, they also had EverQuest. As well. I I never played XI. I stopped at ten. I've never played it either. I mean, I, I've heard good things about it. Like people said, it was. It was I good. I stopped playing at ten. I I don't even think that I played all the way through ten. Well, I mean. 10 I did, but like like 1 through 10, I, I don't think I even played all of those. I, I know I played... I know I played a couple... Um, in the very beginning. I know I played... When, um... That, that, um... I don't want to say multi pack, but... The, the... Final Fantasy that came with uh, Chrono Trigger. Uh, about the PS1. Yeah, I, I know. I played that one, and I think that was four. Yeah. I don't just... remember playing five or six. <laughs> they I did do release it on seven. PS1. It, it was called Final Fantasy Anthologies, and it came with Final Fantasy five and six. Um, five. I might have played that. Then. Five we never technically got on Super here in the U.S. And six we got here as Final Fantasy three. I gotcha. On the super. Well, four I... was two on the super. Right, right. Five was the one we never got, and we also never got three. But you know, later on. Of we course. Ended up getting those you know, it's it's the larger titles that I remember playing. But I think it's just because that it was such a big deal is why I remember playing them. I do remember playing Final Fantasy VI. I, I think we, me and my cousin rented it at one point. So we we're completely fascinated, like how you had like this big open world and like all these different characters interact with and stuff. We didn't really grasp what the idea of an RPG was at the time. Right. It wasn't very. I mean, like when we were playing games, there wasn't very many RPGs out like that we were actively playing like it wasn't until much later when we started playing games like Super Mario RPG or like Final Fantasy 7 or like Stewie Coden right. those were like the first big ones for me I mean Chrono Trigger I played a little bit later but like back when I played Final Fantasy 6 like I don't think I really fully grasp the concept of an RPG. I, I don't I don't think any nineties kid did. <laughs> I'm sure there was. Uh, I, people that grew up. Well like, that's the thing games. is 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 I, I did play those games when I was younger, but it was it was more because my mom and my older cousins were doing it. So I was all like, oh, well, this is, you know, what you play to be cool. <laughs> like, when the Super was out, I was playing games like Donkey Kong Country and Turtles right, in Time. Right, right. Uh, Super Mario World. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. 
I, I never got into that. Like those kind of games. Like the more pick up and play games. Yeah, I did play Donkey Kong Country a lot. That's such a good game. See, here's the thing is, is I couldn't really name, you know, more than, you know, what I could count on my two hands right off the top of my head. But if we was to, like, bust out a list or, or somebody was to, like, start up a game, I'd be all like, oh my god, I remember that. <laughs> Honestly, I think I owe a lot of stuff that I played. You know, me and my cousin, we played a lot of games. <laughs> like, he had a Genesis, I had a Genesis, you know, he had a Super, I, I, my sister kind of had a Super, I, I got to play a little bit of Super. Uh, most of the time I was playing Super at his house, honestly. Because he, yeah. he had all the Super games. Right. Well, my my cousin, my cousin actually lived with us, so I kind of got lucky there. So we would constantly play, and then I would go over to my friend's house and play, or my mom's best friend. Uh, she had kids that were my brother and sister's age, none really my age, but um, you know, and and. He was a really big gamer. Um, actually, I, I think he has his own YouTube channel now. Um, but, you know, he, he was really big into the video games. So, we would actually sit in, in their den and play. Den. Yeah, li like, you know, like, a, not really the family room, <laughs> but, you know, kind of like a, like a media room almost. I gotcha. Um, we would we, we would sit in there and uh, I would play with him on the the Sega because that was the big thing at that time. <laughs> the Genesis. Yeah, the Genesis. <laughs> I like how you say the Sega. <laughs> well, to like me, like no other Sega consoles. Existed. To me, to me, there was no other Sega. Like I didn't learn until much, much, much later that there was ever any other Sega console. <laughs> did you know there was a system before Genesis? I that Sega had? No, I did not. It's called the Sega Master System. I didn't I've, know that. I've never owned one or really played on one, but it existed. It was basically the NES counterpart. You know, I, I'm, I'm not Sega. doing that to discredit any other Sega system. I'm doing it literally because that was in my the world, there was there was no other Sega system. I didn't know that they even existed at that time. Yeah. So when I say the, the Sega system, <laughs> you know, I'm Genesis. talking about the Genesis. <laughs> Genesis slash Mega Drive for our uh, UK listeners. It's, it's, no, I, I do believe that my cousin had one of the, um, the CD ones, the... Yeah, Sega. Was it Sega CD? I I'm not sure. Was like a, like it, it played a disc. For Sega Saturn. No, or, uh, not Saturn. Uh, it, Sega it, Genesis. I'm I'm not sure. It, it played CDs. That's all I know. And then there was the Saturn, which only played CDs. I think it was probably that because it then, um, it was a different system. I don't think it was the same system. And then the last system they released was the Sega Dreamcast, which is the one I played a lot on. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, nice smaller one. Oh, I, I know what you're talking about, but yeah. Before that, I had no idea that there was even another Sega system. Well, I mean, I was kind of the same way, too. Because I didn't really play Master System or even was aware that it even existed. I think me and my cousin randomly ran across the Sega Master System cartridge and we were, we were dumbfounded as to what the hell it even was. Because that Sega written right on the cartridge was like, will this work on our system? And of course we tried and nothing happened. Like, we didn't understand what it was. <laughs> that was like some weird computer game or something. Gotcha. So I think like we randomly got it like a sale or something. Like, well, I don't even know what the hell this is. <laughs> those annoying people that, that have to continuously hit like three or four buttons at the same time so I spit every time I'm
moving. <laughs> I have to constantly hold down the run button for no apparent reason. And the thing is, is I know it's annoying, but I can't stop doing it. You know, kind of like the whole jump thing. I flip the controller. It's annoying yeah. even to me. It's annoying. I know a lot of people me. that did that. <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. We used to make fun of my cousin for doing it. He would sit there in front of the TV. And like and every time they jump, they yeah, he, he'd, the controller he'd flip up. it, and he he'd actually like smack himself in the head with the cord a few times. Or like bash his mouth with the freaking controller. <laughs> so funny. We were horrible. We were horrible to my cousin though. Um, me, me and my older female cousin were were horrible to him. He was her younger brother, so of course she's gonna be horrible to him. And he was one of those geeky kids. I got you. You know, with, with the really thin bodies and the the, the freckles <laughs> and and the those yeah those horrible glasses <laughs> and he had really big ears like he was he was really one of the dorky kids and and I feel bad because like I'm I'm not like that anymore but we were horrible kids. <laughs> <laughs> we we were really horrible kids, but I I think you know kids are like that in general. Not necessarily that they mean to be horrible, because I I wasn't trying to be mean. You know, it was just I think it was just it was amusing at the time. I think it's because everyone's you know, we, we about don't it. we don't think about how how much it you know hurts other people. <laughs> We're just you know you're in on it with your friends and everyone's right? laughing and, and then you don't and really it's, take it's the not time so to funny. consider their feelings. You know I I can understand how you know nowadays bullying gets out of hand and stuff, and and nowadays it's a big problem. You know, I, I don't think that it's that nowadays they bully people more. I think it's that you're just more aware of, you know, what it's doing to people. Well, it's, it seems like it's a lot more sensitive nowadays because you have the whole suicide thing going on. Right. How well, I, I, think, I, think, I think it seems worse now because it's not just it's you know a small group it's, it's not a small group media. yeah it's it gets blown up on social media and then you have like the entire world coming down on you know this poor kid <laughs> right. you know whereas you know in school or whatever it was you know a, a small group of kids you know that would sit there and laugh at you or poke fun at you or whatever a couple of days would pass and then they'd be over yeah and then they'd move on to the next person whereas you know now it's up for everybody to see and yep. you know it doesn't get you know blown over as quickly now you know after a few days it doesn't just go away like it used to Okay, so obviously you're uh, you're new to this whole YouTube let's play scenario scene, right? I I am. This is so, I mean, the first YouTube <laughs> video that I've ever made. Yay me! <laughs> so I mean, is is this something you could see like you having fun with? Oh well, as I I I understand that you're recording. <laughs> But to me, that it doesn't really seem a whole lot different than you know sitting here yeah, playing sitting a game here and, and chit chatting with my friends, you know. <laughs> so I I, I well, think. Yeah, I, I guess what I'm 
more asking is does it get you more excited to try out stuff you normally wouldn't or like you know like if someone were to send you a request for a game you know and oh by by all means you know or, if if people want to request things and and you know if, if you have a favorite game or something i i you know i i would more at least try it out <laughs> yeah I, w I would more than be willing to to try some of these games like i said i i haven't been a big gamer since like the 90s so <laughs> anything even relatively new <laughs> I'm not really a big part of. <laughs> right. I, I stopped playing video games um, when when I was in middle school. You know, I, I did play a little bit here and there, like with the Halo and stuff with my friends, but, you know, outside of, you know, friend time, there wasn't really a whole lot going on. <laughs> it's not like I sat at home and played video games. Ah, oh, well, that's it for me. I was hoping I'd slide under there. Oh, you were so far too. I think that's my first game ever. Yep, I've had two already. So everybody can see that I suck at video games. I I, I don't know. I think it's more. Just... Well, I think it's it's more. I'm disappointed in the fact that I used to kick ass at these games. Like, I I could do them almost with my eyes closed. And then you don't play them for twenty some years, and now you can't. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of games. I that are like that now. <laughs> like, didn't I used to, like, be able to beat this game and now I can, like, barely beat level one? <laughs> right? Oh, that was bullshit. It came right back up. Do you see that? Yep. <laughs> like, a trick you like that sometimes. Holy fuck! I thought I was dead. Yeah, I was lucky. Got it. Oh, look at that! Got trace bitches. Three of them. Still not a princess though. No, I think she comes after the octuplets. Or is she in the bag that's supposed to contain the octuplets? I don't really remember. Yes. I don't remember if it's after level 8 that you get her, or if it is level 8 that you get her. That's the last stage. Of course, I, I, I'd like to, to revisit some of the most awesome games that I used to play. Like what? I don't, I don't even remember. <laughs> I'm sure you remember a few. Oh yeah. I remember quite a few. None that wouldn't take like a week to finish though. You don't think we could beat Donkey Kong Country? Oh yeah, I could easily beat Donkey Kong Country. One, two, and three. So, in your opinion, two is the hardest one out of the bunch, right? Uh, no, two is the best one out of the bunch. But is it the hardest? No, I think the third one's the hardest really? because I can I cannot control that little fucking baby butt. Baby Kong. Yeah. Like he is, he is like the most difficult thing in the world to control. Like, I don't even know what the fuck they were thinking. Flipping and cartwheeling all over the fucking place. At least, you know, Diddy and Dixie I can control. I love a Dixie. Bit small and fast. I love Dixie. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of Donkey Kong. <laughs> Donkey Kong. 
or Baby Kong. I mean, uh, I like I honestly. like Diddy. I really do. I like Diddy because he's he's small and he's fast, and I can get shit done. But Dixie by far is my favorite. This guy's just gonna do that little twirly thing and float. You know, kind of like the princess in Mario too. Yeah. She's my favorite one too. Oh. What the hell was that? Bad timing. <laughs> Bad you time. You're up. starting to play like me. It's bad timing. <laughs> they shot the same time I jumped. <laughs> I like how the background looks like a bunch of blue noses. Yes. <laughs> Does. It does. I didn't <laughs> notice that until you said that. I've something. always noticed that. And, and, and now that's all I'm going to freaking that. see. Thank you. Thank you so much. And like, if you look at the little grass part, and like the little pokey head underneath of it, it kind of looks like a lemming. Oh, I love lemmings. <laughs> that was a really good game. I'm pretty sure lemmings are green, not blue. I could be wrong. I don't know, I haven't played that game in years. They are green. They're very green. Am I supposed to be up here? Am I gonna... Oh, uh, you're gonna skip. Fuck! I can't go back. I can't go back. No. Is there... There's no way that I no, can... No, there's no way. Shit. It's not gonna advance you that much, really. No, it'll, it'll advance me two, two stages. <laughs> Shit. I was attempting not to do that, but, you know. That is the most sucky thing in the world, is the fact that you can't go backwards yeah, can't in these. Backwards. They, they, they didn't think that far ahead in time. <laughs> Just move forward. Guess we could all take a lesson from Mario. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Dropped right off the edge. I did. Take a lesson from Mario. Never look back. I have to get shot in the face again. I was gonna say, the fuck are you doing? Pretty much like the only reason I needed it. <laughs> Get through the freaking Hammer Brothers. I know, I always hated the Hammer Brothers. Like in all the Marios. Yeah, they're hard to dodge. I fucking hate them. I don't remember what Mario it was. There was like one of the Marios, or maybe it wasn't, maybe it was just something I made up in my head. I can't really do One of the Marios the that you made up in your head. But, uh, wasn't there one that, that you could actually, like, catch the hammer and throw it back? I don't believe so. I'm I could be wrong. There's a hammer head suit in three. I, I know that there's a suit, but I, I'm saying aside from the suit. I like, I, I swore you could, like, catch oh, it and like throw it back. Mario. Or maybe it wasn't even Mario. Maybe it was something completely different and I'm just mixing them up. Or maybe I just imagined it all. I'm not entirely sure. It's been a really long time. I don't know. I didn't really play much of the newer ones. There's so many new ones now. I mean, they might have added something like that. If not, they should. <laughs> no, I haven't really got to play the ones on the Wii U or anything. I'd like to get a Wii U at some point. Good, 
firework. Huh? See, that is bullshit. Like, like any normal person <laughs> would have died right there. And you just like skip by like nothing ever happened. Pretty much. You, you know how, how much I hate you right now, right? Like, I would have died. If that would have been me playing it, I would have died. <laughs> My fireball hit it. But you, for whatever reason, you're lucky like that and don't die. <laughs> you never die. Oh, I've been, I died plenty. But that's, I think that's honestly just me being stupid, not paying attention. I don't know, it's like sometimes when I rush to a level, it's almost like a added luck factor. <laughs> yeah, sometimes like, oh, it backfires. He's going, he's going fast, so we'll just leave him be. He thinks he's Sanic the Hedgehog. Oh, look at that shit. What now? I like how you completely skip past the little monster butts on this one. Mm. I meant Not to worth that. going for. <laughs> nope. Oh, oh son of a bitch! That was bullshit. Total bullshit. See? Same castle as the first two. Pretty much. They just extended now, the Now, fires. the next one, the next one, is gonna be like the third one. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be new and original. <laughs> Didn't get so lucky that time. It's five of them that time. Yeah. Those They're already on the sixth tuplets. world. I think that's what they call set chocolates. Oh, I forgot they were there. Yeah, there's two of them. Well, if you remember, I, I came out of that pipe last time and they weren't there, so I wasn't expecting them to be there. Run, Mario, run! Run, motherfucker, run! Oh! That was bullshit! I would have died there! Fuck. I don't know how you get away with the shit that you get away with. <laughs> I thought I was like, gonna die, honestly. It literally honestly. makes me angry. It literally <laughs> makes me angry. Because he saw it. He, he, like, he fell down he that flinched. fucking hole. He, he fell down that hole. Like, if I didn't stop moving, he would have fell. He fell and you bounced. So unfair. <laughs> Alright, now there there is turtles here. Turtles? Oh, fuck me. I, I had nowhere to go. <laughs> I yeah. couldn't go forward. I couldn't go backwards. And I'm screwed. That's okay. That's what I get for, like, skipping levels, right? Nah, it's all good. Not as, well, not, as long as we're not warping to, like, the last stage, I think. It, it's all good. I only skipped, like, two levels. Not that big of a deal. This way. You should 
you'll get a firework too. Yeah, I think Just one boom. Oh yeah, it's one. That was bullshit, I bounced on him. I bounced on him. See, Matt wouldn't have died. He wouldn't have died. But I died. Shit! But I died there. You completely missed the platform, of course you're gonna die. shit happens. You didn't even bounce. No. Like there was no there was no spring was no to bounce. that board. <laughs> it happens what? occasionally. Like that. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> See, if that was through Mario World, I would have bounced and made it. It's hilarious because because I've had, you know, twice as many game overs as you, and we're we're around about the same place right now. Yeah. Like you're literally like one world ahead of me. Yeah, it literally shows the difficulty curve. I killed him. That was awesome. I know, right? I did not kill a fucking hammer brother to die by jellyfish, okay? Oh, no, sh but shit. Oh, that was that's bullshit! That was that's fucking bullshit. That was bullshit. You said it. I'm mad now. Pissed now. I am. What the fuck? You should have died. <laughs> you should have died. You've seen that, right? I did. I seen it. Pissed me off too. How come I always die and you never do? You never freaking die. What the you. fuck? Dude, you <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Oh, it's you're hilarious. Horrible. You're horrible. You're a horrible person. But it's awesome. Oh, see, it almost did the same thing it did to you. Or it did to me. Do you see that? It didn't even spring me. Still made it. I did. Mm. That was good timing. Watch out for the squids! I 
seriously yeah. thought I was going right down the hole again. I don't even care that I got on it. It all matters. I did. And I'm getting fired. <clears throat> boom, 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 bitches. He said it's 1369. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's not nine. Oh, really? I didn't see any fireworks. So I think I mixed up the nine for the one. Because originally I said it was three, six, and nine. And it's one, three, and six. Can I occur on five? Start throwing eight, throwing up eight fireworks. <laughs> I think it's a load of BS. I think you should have to get like every coin in the level to get a firework. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's all you get. Like legit, who who's gonna know? Like like especially back then, like I didn't even know until. Like, we looked it up a few months ago, Fuck. that that's what it was. I thought well, like, it was as a kid, monster. as a kid, I always wanted to get fireworks, and I could never get them, and I, I had no idea why I couldn't get them, but my cousin could. It, it made me so mad all the time. Like, why do you thing. always get fireworks? I thought he was doing something special, like some special <laughs> code at the beginning of the game. Like, hold up to get fireworks. Yes, there there was. You totally you can't go done. back. I'm just been dying in a pit of fire. We might have to part two this one at this rate. Right? <laughs>
See, that's the same thing I did last time. There we go. Some shenanigans going on. Boom! Got it. Playing about a seven. I don't know if that makes any difference or not. No, no fireworks for you. Sure would have did one second longer. Never gonna win this little. Apparently, I'm never gonna win it at all. Hmm. I got three lives to beat this one. Fuck. Well, you better do something. Because I do not want to have to part two this. It's gonna look like epic failures. I <laughs> find that like squeeze through there. Like whoop. Knowing you, it's something you, that that you'd actually do. I landed on him. You've seen that shit, right? <laughs> you think? I don't know how I managed to insert myself between the two to die. You know. Fuck. Apparently, I did. What are you doing? I'm Stop to, it! I'm trying to time this. Now we're good. <laughs> that was really annoying. I didn't want to jump into it. Fuck. I'm rushing too much on that one. Stop it! They had way too much fire there. I didn't really notice it before now, but Mario looks really out of place. Are you serious? Like his colors and stuff? <sighs> I'm sucking ass tonight. <laughs> 
way around. Well, it's just because it's 2 o'clock in the morning and both of us are tired, so. Yeah. Exactly but it's about the only time that we can do it without the kids, so. We will make do. That's bullshit. Yeah, you can't go under there. See, now I'm sucking ass. <laughs> I think it's time to call it quits. <laughs> Getting too tired. Disappoint all three of our fans? I was meant for tonight. <laughs> not like, not like. I, I, together. I, I know what you meant, but I was trying to make a joke. Apparently, you didn't get it. I'm not gonna have the SP. Yet. Oh, son of a bitch! I made it past the turtles and knocked into the damn helmet heads. I don't even know what the fuck those are. They look like motorcycle helmets. Rushing again, you're gonna die. <laughs> Fuck you. Fucking Makita brother. What the fuck your name is. bullet bill I think I have to deal with bullet bills on the stage too Well, 
they reanimated the whole thing, but he just doesn't seem to match. Like he looks like his his character skin came from a different Mario. <laughs> matches that castle right there, but it it doesn't seem to match the rest of it. Sneaky bullet bill. I know. Fucking castle. Fuck. <laughs> Just in case there was any type of debate, we we could never make our ratings like PG apparently. Fucking A. <laughs> See what I mean? It's like you have to have the fire to beat him. Or at least an extra guy. Castle this time, I'm calling it quit for the night. No point in sitting there and repeating the same levels over and over. You got one firework. I did. One of these days we should have a contest to see who can get the most fireworks. Like in a whole playthrough. It's just not gonna happen. I'm not beating this castle tonight. I'm the worst of luck. Oh shit! I didn't realize it was that big. That's what she said. Shut up! I knew you were gonna do it. I knew it. I knew you were gonna do it. Didn't know it was gonna be that big. Yep, gonna get fucking screwed. Just not allowed to beat the castle. Yes, he whines like a crybaby when he doesn't do something. No, it's just continuous stroke of bad luck. Well, that's fine, but you don't have to whine about it like a two year old. This is supposed to be a fun thing. It is until it bashes your head and, and over and over. Until you get frustrated with the game. And then whine like a toddler. doing it again. Fuck All that. Alright, we'll go ahead and save it. But you got lives left still. I don't even care. I have no fucks to give. This <laughs> <laughs> is not gonna happen tonight.
come back with part two and try to beat stage six <laughs> and stage five since we apparently we can't beat it. Because we suck ass at Mario Brothers, apparently. Or because it's 2.30 in the morning. So, catch you guys later. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed us rambling on about random stuff. And uh, hopefully you will come see us in part two.